some tea. Can you see yourself? Just about. Yeah. Well, we didn't get that rain we were going to. We told them we were going to have, didn't we, Eric? No, we didn't get it yet. Morning. Morning. Oh, hello, Christine. It's Sarah from Swan. Hello. Did you have a lovely holiday? Volunteers are the key thing because without those volunteers they would we wouldn't have the use of their time and their cars and so everything we're doing you know the volunteers are helping us with. If we didn't have enough drivers then we just wouldn't be able to do what we can do. Have you got any availability this week? Oh, you're already taking Eric on Friday. Mm. The whole thing is that we care for people and we do it on a one-to-one -one basis. So we like to think that we're the premier champagne that actually sort of take people out, we look after them, we take them home, then we don't just drop them off at the door. They get a bit of TLC, so they get that extra little bit from us. Some drivers are very good at engaging in conversation with the, with the clients and just bring the clients out of themselves a little bit so that they actually enjoy their day out. Um, it's not just a journey to the hospital. For them, it might be that they've not been out for several days and then they've gone out and they've had human contact and conversation and they've just had, for them, it's sort of a little bit of a trip out as well as being a practical necessity. How did you get on last week with Josie away? I picked up Eric. I take him to Pine Lee where he does memory therapy. I bring him in the morning. He's here for about 10 o'clock and then I pick him up at half past three and, and I take him home again. It's been a while since we've seen you in, in St John's. Gonna come at Christmas at some time? Uh, well, I thought one, one of them. Yeah, yeah. What is also lovely is in that time, while Eric is away enjoying himself and having his lunch and coffee and afternoon tea, his wife is able to get on and do things that she wants to do. Hello, Josie. Hello, Christine. Hi. Uh, yes, we're fine. Thank you, my love. How are you? How's your day been? Quiet. Quiet. Peaceful. Excellent. I think that's marvellous. And, and I'm really grateful for all these volunteers that come and do it for us. Otherwise, we'd have to, I don't know, whistle <laughs> <laughs> for someone else. Swan has been very good to us. And whenever I phone up and ask for a driver, they always send one. So they're very good. So Eric, you've had a nice day at Pinely today. Yes. Do you, do you enjoy going there? Yeah. And it's only just down the road. What a nice place to have on your doorstep. Yes. And I get a nice day on. Yeah, quiet day. Because we take away that bit of a strain from the family, they know they're going with a driver they can trust, someone who's going to look after their, their loved person. They, they, it helps them as well as the person that we're actually taking. There we are. Okay. I had a lady at one time who literally needed to be taken down the road 100 yards to the hairdressers, but it was something she was just not able to do. It took me a lot longer to get to her and then it took me to take her to the hairdressers and it took me even longer afterwards to, uh, to take her home. Um, but it got her out, it got her to the hairdressers and, um, you know, it's, it's, it's the sort of thing that I want to be able to do. One lady who just had to go around the corner to a doctor, but she hadn't been out for a long time and she was not too happy, so I just walked around with her. That was enough just to walk around and walk back, yeah. Everyone that comes to us is an individual and they've got individual needs, so it's about working out what those needs are and then making sure that we've got the right driver that can, you know, help that person. We're relying on people giving us the information in the first place, um, but once we've got the information, then we can look for the right driver and get exactly what that person needs for the journey. Heather's been going since the theatre, since I started. Her friend is now not very well, so I don't take Margaret anymore, but uh, 
Heather still has been going down to the talks. Oh, it was about um, uh, King Charles II. Yeah, it sounded interesting. Yes, it was very interesting. Um, yeah, I saw in the paper. It's all. Charles Spencer was giving uh, a special uh, um, story of some sort. One of his ancestors, I think. Was it? No. Oh. It does take up a lot of time. I'll take Heather to have her hair done. It's just around the corner. It's only a half a mile drive, I suppose, to hairdressers. And then you've got to wait for an hour while it's done. You, just don't, you can't come home and go back. It's not worth it. Oh, it makes a, a terrible lot of difference because um, um, I get some help, much more help than I do for the taxi driver. And um, also, it's a more comfortable ride. And I know that uh, um, if I go to the hospital, for instance, uh, that John will come back for me. <laughs> she hopes. <laughs> yes, Famous hope, last yes. words. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, I've met so many lovely people. I've had so many lovely stories that I would really love to write a book about all, the, all these things these people have gone through. Because we've got people in their 80s and 90s who have had very, very rich lives. We have people sort of in their 30s Again, who have had problems, they've overcome them, they're out there doing things. It's great fun, isn't it, Carol? Yeah, absolutely. We like our music, Lizzie, we did don't we? Music and sing along to it. Mm. Well, I have my holiday song, didn't I? Can you remember what it was? No. Clean Bandit, wasn't it? Yeah. Rockabye Baby. Rockabye Baby, Rockabye. I'm a rocky, Rockabye Baby, Rockabye. I've known Carol for ages and she's always done a lot of fundraising. She's always done loads of different things for the local community. And she's wanted to do something for us for some time. And the opportunity came up for this fashion show and Carol was off. There's no stopping her. And she really is very infectious. Not only were we raising money for Swan, but we were making these people really, really happy and very excited to be able to do it. With the fashion show, do you know how much we did got? We got £500. So that's absolutely brilliant because that was, that was my right target. Amount. That was your target, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, so I'm so pleased. Mm. I want Swan to be out there. I want it to be known for the really, really good organisation that it is and that people support us and help us so that we can go on into the future. Because it would be awful if we faded into the background through lack of support. We're going to the farm, 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 and we're going to have some fun, fun, fun. And we're going to milk a cow, 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 and we're going to have fun, fun, fun. When cows drive in, drive in, drive in. <laughs> What about the eggs then? Do you go and get the eggs? We're going to collect the eggs, eggs, eggs. We're going to collect the eggs, eggs, eggs. You all fab. Keep going on your good work and keep giving me a lift, please. <laughs> so can you remember what you had for your lunch? For this, Bailey, look. Okay,